Hi everyone and thanks for checking out my second video in which I'll try and outline another couple of tips in relation to EQing Kemper profiles to sound good when going direct to PA in a live setting. So before we start I'd just like to suggest that if you haven't already checked out my previous video then please check it out and I'll leave a link to it in the comments below. Okay, so one of the things I covered in the previous video was how I use the global or master EQ section to tailor the overall sound of the Kemper when going direct to PA. And following on from that, there's a very useful feature within the Kemper which allows you to save global or master EQ presets. So how and why is this useful? Well, over the course of say a year, I will inevitably play the same venues more than once and my global or master EQ settings may well differ for each venue. For example, a venue which has predominantly hard surfaces, i.e. wooden glass, will almost certainly require different EQ settings to a venue which has mainly soft surfaces, i.e. carpets and curtains. So my approach is to save the global or master EQ settings for either specific venues or maybe different types of venue as presets. So when I arrive at any given venue, I can just load up the preset for that specific venue or maybe that type of venue and it will immediately give me a fairly decent sound without me having to manually go into the output section and then manually tweak the global or master EQ settings. So how do we save these global or master EQ presets? Well, once we're happy with the global or master EQ settings for a particular type of venue, we press the output button on the Kemper. Then we press the store button and this screen is displayed. Now press the soft button above where it says output section. And now use the browse knob and knobs one and four below the screen to enter an appropriate name for this output preset. I've called this particular preset room three. Once the name has been entered, just press store again and the preset is saved. To recall a saved global or master EQ preset, press the output button, then turn the browse knob and the list of presets will be displayed. You can then use the browse knob to select the one you want and load it using soft button number four. Also within Rig Manager, you can select which output preset you use by clicking here. And this will display a list of available presets for you to choose from. When you select the one you want, the EQ settings for that preset are automatically loaded into the Kemper. So I actually find this a really useful feature and I have global or master EQ presets set up for various specific venues that I gig in regularly. And so now when I get to a gig, I just load the EQ preset for that venue and my sound is immediately in the right ballpark for that particular venue. So the second thing I'd like to cover in this video is how some of the wah pedal modes can actually affect the EQ of a rig, even if the wah isn't engaged. So several of the profiles I use were originally set up with the wah mode set to bypass at stop. And this should mean that the wah is only engaged whenever you move the appropriate pedal. But this particular mode, to my ears at least, does not actually take the wah completely out of the signal chain. And even when the pedal is stationary, and if this particular mode is selected, I can definitely hear an increase in the upper mids. So if I have a wah in a rig, I always set the pedal mode to on, and then I make it switchable. So whenever the wah isn't being used, it's fully disengaged and isn't affecting the tone of the basic rig. And to switch the wah pedal in and out, I use a Mission EP1 expression pedal. And that pedal has a toe switch, which allows me to turn the wah on and off as required. 
So that's it for my second video on EQing camper profiles and rigs. And I really hope you have found some of the information here useful. Thanks for watching.